Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Here with Byron's 99 V70R. He's having a lot of issues getting it started the other day. One time he said it took him 10 minutes to get it started. Personally, I think the fuel pump's going out. It's got 280,000 miles on it. I don't know how old the fuel pump is. But one of the symptoms of a fuel pump not being perfect in these cars is you have no pressure on the fuel rail. Take that cap off, hit it with a screwdriver or a key or something, it should squirt fuel out. As soon as you shut this car off, no fuel pressure. And I think there's something in the tank built into the fuel pump. Soon as you, I mean, you try to start this car, it don't start, you come out here, push on that, the pressure bleeds off of this one immediately. When I went to the junkyard and got parts, off of the car at the junkyard for this rear end that thing had fuel pressure on it after three or four months of being at the junkyard so the fuel system should hold pressure this one's not I've seen them bleed off in two days no big deal but immediately that's that's an issue now he's having some problems starting the throttles a little touchy running and it's got some damage on these wires now, somebody changed the starter, somebody did this, somebody did that. The ETM wire harness is not properly attached to the wire harness in the car, which it should be, but it's not. So somebody changed the starter, and then something else was done to it, and then I came in here and did something. When I started the car, I heard this clicking. When the fan kicked on, I come out here, these wires are in the fan trod being eaten up by the fan. Now if they were properly in the wire harness, that's not even possible. But since somebody's got them flapping around in here, that is possible. So I had to deal with that. Now I look down there, it looks like something's gummed up in the plug. So I need to clean the end of that plug off. I don't know if you guys can see that. But look at all the debris on the plug. Need to get that cleaned up. Anyway, computer is not tossing any ETM codes. However, it is tossing an ETM light. And with that going on, there's something wrong in the system. And that could be causing a hard start as well. A third factor that's annoying, irritating, whatever you want to call it, is the cooling fan kicks on. As soon as you shut the car off and runs for seven minutes, whether you got the car heated up or not, so the engine could be stone cold. And when you cut the car off, it thinks the engine's hot, runs the fan for seven minutes. Normally, this sensor down here, this ETC sensor, controls that. And for some reason, this one's harder to get at, and somebody buried the plug on it. I don't know where the plug is, it's buried. I tried to go to the salvage yard to get one. Salvage yard wouldn't let me in. I got there too late. And I didn't get one. So I want to replace that because that could also make the car hard to start. Now when these wires were in the fan, I could see on the yellow one that the plastic got rubbed off of it. But it didn't seem to damage any of the wire strands. The purple one the plastic got rubbed off of it in a couple of places. And again, I don't see any wire strands broken. The brown one, that one has plastic rubbed off of it. No wire strands broken. But this green one is actually the power connection. And this is the one that has this extra junk wire wired into it. That's going over there and hot wired to a fuse box. So this is probably a hot positive. I need to check it. And these wires are frayed. Now I talked to Zmodex, 
and they said that sometimes they recommend people hit that wire for a test but not for driving a car around so I am going to re-splice this green wire together solder it shrink wrap it see if the car will run without that red wire attached clean up that plug hopefully that will help this car have a good ETM connection and get rid of this ETM light maybe it will cure the starting issues maybe not again if the starting issues has something to do with this ECT sensor or a failing fuel pump it's still going to have starting issues but maybe we'll get rid of this ETM light even though it does not have an ETM air code so let me fix these wires up get them plugged back in get these connectors cleaned up and see if this car will start up a few times I got that plug area cleaned off no debris over it anyway I got these wires shrink wrapped sealed up plastic coated and zip tied I'm gonna plug this in make sure it's clear of this fan down here and then I'm going to get in the car and see if it'll start without that extra power wire hooked up. I tested this power wire here and it is not a hot power. It is a switched power. So I disconnected it from this harness and I put a uh, cap on the end of it. If the car starts and runs fine, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. Now, I remember before there was a ground broke under here. And I bridged that ground right there and I grounded it to the transmission linkage bolt there or some kind of bolt on that transmission M66 and that allowed the car to start. So anyway, let's see how this thing runs and starts with this plug plugged in without that jump wire on it. That plug lays in an awkward spot in between the engine fan and the starter. So I wanted to get it away from the starter, uh, even though the starter's a temporary thing. Hopefully this engine fan doesn't interfere with it. But it normally sits back a little further. Uh, but I got this other zip tie up here to keep it off the fan. So it, it put it in a little bit of an awkward spot. Anyway. Let me get it off this fan. I'm not trying to duplicate the problems it had before. Do 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 do. Oh, probably should zip tight there. Where this other wire is. And let me go see if the car will start without that jump wire on it. Byron said he was experiencing some suspension discomfort. That spring seat over there looks okay, but this one over here looks off center. You see how you can see the lip of this over here, but you can't see it over here. This spring seat is totally torn through. So you could probably turn this nut all the way around with the rubber turning with it. You see that? That tells you the spring seat is torn, torn away. So this is going to be banging. When he hits bumps, it'll feel unstable. And if you got tighter suspension, which this does, it has adjustable conies, you really gotta get stuff like that fixed. So I'll order one of these with my order tomorrow or tonight and hopefully get that in, replace that form. I'm gonna get all this stuff out of this engine bay, fire this car up. Well, let's hit it, see if it starts. Hit a fuel pump running for a few seconds. Didn't hit a fuel pump that time. There it goes. Fire it up. Taking a second to stabilize. Still got an ETS light. I may need to clear that. I'll clear that, see if it goes away. Let me drive it see if it's touchy. I scanned for codes, didn't get no codes of course on the scan gauge. So I did a pending code check 
the pending code check showed nothing and I did a force clear and it cleared my ETS light so we'll see if that comes back it normally stays away while I drive and then when I shut the car off restart it is that's when it's come back after a full duty cycle if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter and if you need to contact me directly please visit my website and if you have any questions leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them again thank you very much for watching